Hi, my name is Mary Jane K. Mayano, a BS Ad English second year student of Norso Shatton. Today, I am going to critique a film which entitles Like Stars on Earth. But before that, I will just give a short overview regarding to the poem the film. So the film entitled Like Stars on Earth is all about the story of a child who's bullied because of his lack of intelligence. Whenever he asks to read or to answer a certain question, his mind flew somewhere else as he writes. So based on what I have observed regarding to the film entitled Like Stars on Earth, it is all about the story of a child who's bullied because of his lack of intelligence. Whenever he asks to read or to answer a certain question, his mind flew somewhere else. As he writes, he doesn't know how to write even a single letter, letter properly. Whenever the teachers announce the scores, it is not new if he appears the lowest since he is known to be um, the late developer in their class. Because of that, his parents are disappointed with their child, especially his dad, who even shout and doing harsh against the child that makes the whole thing worse. His dad has um, a higher expectation to him since his one brother is a brilliant one. What they didn't know about is that the child is experiencing one kind of problem, which is the Dyclasia. It is a disorder. This movie is an eye opener for the viewers in the case that it helps us understand that people who are having a hard time coping with their studies, but also in a very the aspects of our life. We both know that we are lucky. We are the lucky one. Indeed, there are a lot of children who suffered in a very aspects. A very people has a story behind what they are now. How do they behave or how they choose to be? We must not laugh at these people just because they write a letter the other way around or answer the questions not the way you like. But try to understand what are the, what are that person is going through. Before you judge someone else, imagine first putting yourself in their situation. If it's good. If kaya ba jud ni mon na mapunta ka sa ilahang lugar. Before ka mo judge gani, imus ako na 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 lalim ba po dog ma, ikaw ang nasa sa lang situation. If the people around you making fun of you, or are you going to be thankful around a person who doesn't even try to understand what are you going through? Malipay ba ka if katawan lang ka sa mga tao? Or kanyang person na nagkwadi mo is wala pud nakasabot kung kung si muhang kaagi. Diba? So, let us be um, be mindful of the way we treat others. Because we don't know what they've been through. What their life and how are they? Maybe happy ra siya inside o kauban mo. Happy ra siya outside if magkakuyog mo. But deep inside, he has anxieties and problems that he only suffered. So, we must be mindful. We must um consider one's feelings and opinions. Because they matter. So that is that is one of um my observation regarding to the film. Since the film Ishan the child there has has a disorder wherein it is really difficult to cope with. Especially when his dad has a high hopes and expectation to him. Because his brother Johan 
was a brilliant one and a top student. So, dapat na si Ishan Pod, mapariya po siya sa iyang kuya na bright. So, but, kay slow, slow boomer, bloomer man good si Ishan. So, di, wala, muna'y point na wala na sabdan sa iyang papa. Since iyang papa, ga-focus ra na dapat si Ishan muna, kabalo ana, muna, kabalo siya mabasa, bright siya, or siging taas iyang scores. Wala ga, wala gilantaw si iyang papa o unsay gibati sa iyang anak, which is Ishan. Wala na yagi consider ang gibati ni Ishan o ganahan pa po si Ishan anak. Because Ishan's passion is only art, which is painting. And when painting, he expresses all his emotions, feelings, and hatreds. So, mas nakita niya na sa painting, na siya friend. Sa painting, dili siya i-judge. Sa painting, makita, mapakita niya na iyahang skills in art. So, that is one of my observation in the film. Moving on, let's move on to my recommendation in the film. I would recommend that um, through watching this film, it does really touch my heart. Yes, this film was a uh, touchful. Kay, ipakita diri kung unsao na to pag trato ang mga tao na naay disorders. Which is really difficult. Like I said earlier, people with disorders or disabilities are difficult to handle. It takes patience, determinations, and consistence. So, whenever we saw people with disorders, we should not make fun of them. Instead, we should help them since they are also human beings like us that needs guidance, supports, and love. This film entitled Like Stars on Earth was mainly focused as on individuals' differences as well as Ishan in the movie that he has a disorder and he is a person that just cannot seem to get anything right in class but are more interested in his surrounding like in the arts, animals, and playing games and sometimes he cannot button his shirts. So he cannot cope up with easily with his class he has a talent that anybody can have, which is his uniqueness. Many children with dysplasia are pretty understood just like what Ishan experienced. Mainly, they need their family not just by providing the material things, but the love, support, and attention from their loved ones. Most especially, importantly. Sadly, Ishan doesn't have this. The parenting style that he has made him to be more incompetent and lazy in his school. School works plus his teachers that don't clearly understand what he is struggling for. This is sad to know that his teachers have nothing to do about it. Instead, they made a decision that put him into the worst situation. Because when you don't understand the child's suffering, it can be worsening and it, can, it will lead him into have low sense of self-esteem that may be cause him to back out in school. This movie almost made me cry, just like what my other classmate felt in um, critiquing this movie. It is such a masterpiece to begin with and it gives me the time to rethink things are over again. Thanks all over again, this movie gave me the chance to look back to my younger years and anticipate on how I struggle with my early academic life. It gives me the opportunity to appreciate the people around me who have greatly contributed to my character and belief, especially when I was in grade school. And it gave me the perfect reason to continue my advocacy. Wherein, when I would be in the teacher profession in the future, 
I would never be like Ishan's teacher in his old school. I'll be Ram, his new teacher in art school. Wherein, I want to level up this advocacy to the next level. Why? Because I want it to share in a very teacher that made their students afraid of them. I will practice the right and friendly style of teaching for me to get their whole attention so that they will learn a lot from Lee, from me. Truly, this movie is an eye-opener indeed, which everyone should take time watching. I can relate myself in Ishan's life since when I was in elementary and secondary level, I tried to be in top as what my parents wanted for me. They always taught me to be academically competent until I realized this is not really important being on the top. What's significant is you learn and share it to the ones who's in need. What is important in your learning, apply it in everyday life. But my parents um don't really understand this. Instead, they get annoyed to me and I'm proud. In Asian story, he struggles in catching up in schools. His parents and some of his teachers labeled him as lazy, dumb, stupid, and any other harsh adjectives there is that can be associated with his poor performance in school. But amidst his poor academic state, he stands with a gift. I do believe that a very child has its own gift, and that is what Ishan has. He has the gift of imagination, which allows him to see a world that is completely different from the world seen by ordinary people. Sadly, his parents and son of his teacher did not see the other side of the cookie, the other side of Ishan's talent. As a future teacher, do not dismiss a person because they are not performing at the same level as everyone else. As we all know, a very child has individual differences. Look for the underlying cause and work for it. Talking to his parents can change his struggles or it can be gradually lessened through tutorial. Dismissal of Ishans could have caused him to become much more worse and he might have ended up being a dropout. However, with a little dedication and some individual attention, he was able to strive hard and his above average intelligence showed. He also was able to express himself through his painting, which were very mature for his age. So indeed, Ishan is a talented child. He has a gift that anyone could never have. Sometimes, what a person can offer to the world is not mainstream or one of the major interest areas such as science or mathematics. And I think one of the factors why Ishan's, Ishan neglecting himself in attending the school activities, withdrawing himself from the people around him, is the parenting style. As parents, you always know your obligation to your children. In, Ishan, in Ishan's case, authoritative style can be a huge help for him to be more focused in his school works. The attention and care from parents would be a massive comfort in children's development. In spite of being busy, you should always have the quality time in attending your children's needs. Also, one of the essential things in encouragement, it should be given where children excel. Through, it may be art or another area which isn't so lucrative because this is the time when they can express what they really feel. Like Ishan's problem. Through painting, he expresses emotions that made him better and more talented in skills that was he that what he has. As the movie continues, I see how teacher Ram, Ishan's teacher, made a way on how he will be able to help Ishan find himself. So there is a dedication and consistency. We can also use that method to be more, to make our learner improves and put our whole heart to take care of to them.
to give them the attention they needed and let them find their self. As a future teacher, we should always know the strategy and techniques to make our student become independent. We should also get the support and extra guidance that they need. Every one of us has a right in this society. So they also have the right because they are belong in a society. They have the right to choose whoever they want to become and whatever they want to be in life as long as we guide them and give them our attention. They must be respected also even though they have disabilities. Persons with this able disorder are one of a kind since we should show respect to them since they are also human beings. Their happiness and joy is the most important in their life. Again, being a teacher, being a future teacher, I must know and understand students' needs and how they are motivated and how they learn. I should be a motivator, a counselor, inspiration, a guidance, a guidance, and a facilitator rather than a direction. I must always prepare of different strategies and techniques in teaching my student students by that we can produce a good product and I can also tell that I'm one of the teacher who helped the child to gain his own his or her dreams. I shall help the learner find their own ways of learning since we future educators need to have a positive attitude and outside interest which helps develop a well-rounded personality. We must help our students even if he or she is a special child because they need our help to become better, to have a better version of yourself. And also, willingness to help is one of our aspects. Willing to participate and to help them learn what is real life all about. They need our guidance to pursue their dreams. We should also monitor the way we teach because sometimes we teacher has already mistaken, mistaken on how to teach children. We have mistakes, imperfections, and flaws. For me, in handling a class, it is not easy because they are different characteristic of a child which we need to be more observant on that so that we can see who is really needed or help so the last one is my realization in the film towards linguistic and language development i have realized that not all the child easily learn the language especially the our second language since there are some as what I have mentioned earlier, there are some who are late bloomers or has a weak learning competency. Just like Ishan, as I've said a while ago, that Ishan has a uh, disorder, that he is also having a hard time processing everything that both his parents and teacher teach to him and that made me realize one thing we must not um force a child if he is he or she is not capable of learning this thing we should trust the process because i know that child's development will come in in a right time wherein he can finally pursue what he wanted to learn because I believe that for forcing someone forcing a child to learn something is um and dili siya maayong buhaton yes kay dili na to ang ay pungsun ang sa kabata to learn that thing instead we should support and guide him in the process because Kabalungan ta na, maybe, dili pa siya ganahan ana, but in the right time, na siya ay kanang um, skills or the dedication to learn that. 
we should trust the process. So one thing I have realized in the movie is believe in your child. As a parents, we should believe in our child because we know that they have the kapa capabilities of doing what is right. And as a teacher, let us not um, look down on them. Instead, we should motivate them, inspire them, guide them, since we facilitate learning towards the chat. So, overall, in distinguishing the language and in distinguishing the de language development in the film, trust the process is all I can say. Look what made Ishan, and uh, look what made teacher Ram to Ishan. Diba? Through teacher, teacher Ram's um, dedication and patience, he was able to help Ishan become a better version of herself or himself. So that would be my critic analysis through the film entitled Like the Stars on Earth. Thank you.